I'm Kate Milliken and welcome to ECTRUMS 2012. ECTRUM stands for the European Committee for Treatment and Research in Multiple Sclerosis. But you don't need to remember that. You just need to know what this represents, which is a group of individuals who are determined to create a world free of MS. Let's go. Throughout the week, this floor will be inundated by clinicians, researchers, and professors all talking about the world of MS. And with me now to tell us more is Dr. Timothy Kutze, who is the Chief Research Officer of the National MS Society. Dr. Kutze, what are you excited about for this year? Well, hey Kate, I am really excited about what's happening in MS and both treating it as well as research. You know, we have three new oral treatments for MS that are going to make a difference in the lives of people who have the disease. We have Tengolamod or Jelenia. We have BG12 coming hopefully on the market. Chiriflunamide that was just approved. I'm almost excited about progressive MS. You know, we're working together collaboratively to address the needs of people who live with progressive MS, figuring out what's different about progressive MS and what we need to do to make a difference in that part of the disease. I'm also excited about new strategies, things like vitamin D, exercise therapy, as well as alternative therapies that can really take a more holistic approach to uh, managing and living with MS. In light of hearing about oral therapies instead of injections and hearing about vitamin D, um, which arguably is a holistic approach, it sounds like things in the MS world are getting a little bit more expansive. Much more expansive in the way we approach the problem. There's researchers working on all of these different areas of MS. They're also working around the world, so the global movement is getting bigger. Um, we're partnering with other MS societies to fund research, and we're joining with our friends in Canada and Australia to bring this blog and filming series to you. We are surrounded with what will be close to 500 posters, and each poster will represent results that have happened in a study with MS. With me now is Dr. Julie Stahoviak, who is the MS writer for About.com. Julie, what are you doing at this conference? I'm at this conference because I'm going to be blogging a couple times a day for the MS Society on some of the research you were talking about. Julie, what are you most interested in? Well, this year I'm very excited to look at things that I'm personally interested in as a person living with MS. Um, since my diagnosis, I've wondered things like, why do I feel strange at parties? Social cognition, it turns out MS does have something to do with that. Residual disability after relapses. After I have a relapse, how many of these symptoms am I going to bring with me and live with for the rest of my life? And progression to secondary progressive. As a person living with relapsing remitting MS, we know that a lot of people will progress to secondary. Will I be one of them? Who, who is it? What would you say is inspiring you to go this direction with your blogging? I'm taking this approach because in my five years as an MS blogger, I found that a lot of people living with MS have these very same questions. And now it turns out researchers are starting to look at these issues too. Tomorrow, we'll focus on collaborative international MS research and see how working together and globally, more progress is being made. See you then.